The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists. Meet the world's most generous ATM. It contains thousands of pounds just waiting to be withdrawn. But if you want to win, you have to crack the pin. This is The Cash Machine. To the show today four teams fight it out to withdraw as much money as they can from the cash machine the pair who bank the least in each round will be eliminated only one team can make it to the end and get the chance to crack the final pin and withdraw their money so let's see who's playing on today's show we have colleagues and friends alan and guy sisters laura and charlene Friends, Tenba and Jeremy. And finally, very best friends, Chrissy and Debbie. Good luck to all of you. In just a moment, you will get the chance to take on the cash machine. To do that, you've got to answer a buzzer question. Now, these questions have a two-part answer, so you both need to answer correctly. Let's play round one. Here we go. Fingers on buzzers. Which spirit and fruit juice are typically mixed to make a Bloody Mary cocktail? Alan's right in there. Tomato. Yes, Guy. Vodka. Vodka. Said with great authority. Boom. OK, that is correct. Well done. You are first up to play the cash machine. So, pals. Colleagues and pals. Colleagues Part and pals. pals now and again. <laughs> Friends for a long time? 20 years. 20 yeah. years now. So did you both meet at work? We met in an oil rig in the middle of the North Sea. Did you? And we is did. that where you really... You really sort of bond there, don't you? you You're do. like a family, I guess. Definitely. 24-7, yeah. Yeah, hard work. Yep. Well, yeah. Some hard of the work time. when you're some there, of... and then when you come off, you can have some fun. Exactly. What kind of things do you like to do? You like travel? Yeah, I do a lot of travelling through work and through uh, just for, for pleasure. So I've been to uh, 72 countries around the world. That's what wow, I like to do. that's uh, impressive. OK, look, let me tell you how this is going to work. In this round, I'll put £1,000 in your account. To crack the pin, you'll need to answer four questions. The answer to each question is a number in that pin code. And you need to be quick because your money drains away while you're playing. So the only way to stop that happening is to answer correctly. Get a question wrong four times and you will be locked out of your account. Let's play the cash machine. So let's have a look at the categories. Here we go. We have African animals, the solar system, musical instruments, or the alphabet. Alan and Guy, what is taking your fancy? Yeah, we like the solar system. I know system. a mnemonic to remember all the planets. OK, should we do that? Hold on, let me remember. Let's go for the solar yeah, system. I can, do, I can do the solar system. Solar system. You've chosen the solar system. Let's have a look at your options. We have Mars, Jupiter, Ceres, Uranus, Mercury, Saturn, Pluto, Neptune, Venus, and finally, the Earth. There we are. Ready with your first question. Which of these has a moon called Titan? Start the money train. Uh, it's one of the big ones. It's Saturn or Jupiter. Let's go for Saturn. 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 Six. 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 Lock in. OK, you've said Saturn. Fairly confident about that? It's one of the big ones. It's got to be big. It's one Jupiter or Saturn. Ones. Let's have a look and see if Saturn is right. <laughs> Fantastic, you're off to a really good start. You've got that first number in the pin and you've still got £930 in your account. Here's the next question. Which of these was the Roman god of the sea? Start the money, Jane. Is it Neptune? <sighs> I think it's Neptune. Go Eight. on, Eight. Eight. Neptune. Yeah. Confident? Yeah. yeah. Let's have a look and see if Neptune is correct. <laughs> so you're right. Well done. OK, you've got £875 in your account and you're halfway there. Here's your third question. In the film and TV series, Christian Bell plays the title character Veronica who? Start the money drain. I guess. Nine. Nine. 
unlocked. Sounds you like a surname. think? It's a guess. It sounds like a surname. Veronica. It's a total guess. OK. Veronica. In the film and TV series, Kristen Bell plays the title character of Veronica Venus, you think? Let's have a look. Okay, then. Shall we go to me? Money yeah. drain, go again, go again. Quick yeah. as you can. OK, you think it's Veronica series? Let's have a look. Nope, try again. Emma? This is your third guess. Yeah, we're going to come over. You think it's Veronica Mars? Let's have a look. Oh. Well done. Okay, yes, you got there, lost a little bit of money, but you still did get there, and you just got one to go and seven hundred and twenty pounds in the bank, and just one more correct answer to complete that pin. Here's your final question. Which of these is the seventh planet from the sun? Seventh. Seventh is Uranus. Uranus, yeah. yeah. If this is right, you've got £665 in your account. Is Uranus the seventh planet from the sun? Yes. Well done, well done. So you have banked £665. That is, of course, now the target to beat. So you can have a little relax. Right, thanks for that. Good Thank solid you. start. Thank you. Everyone else is back in the game. Let's get your fingers on the buzzers. See if you can beat that target set by Alan and Guy. £665 to beat. In the Edward Lear poem, which two creatures went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat? Chrissy. I'm going to go Pussycat. Pussycat. OK, Debbie. The owl. The owl and the pussycat is absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you are next up to play, both of you. And like I say, you are pals. Yes. Yeah, how did you guys meet? On the dance floor. <laughs> On the dance floor? How yeah. so? Tell me. We used to go to the same dancing every single week, the same place. And I was with a group of friends, Christine was group with a group of friends, and our friends kind of didn't really go up on the dance floor very much, but we did, so we just kind of left them, went yeah. on our own, and we used to see each other there all the time. OK. Are you all set? Yes. This one? Let's play the cash machine. You know how it works. Yeah. £1,000 in your account, and there's a target of 665 to beat. So, here are the categories that are left. Let's have a look. We know the solar system has gone, but we've still got African animals, musical instruments and the alphabet. The Which alphabet. one appeals to you two? Let me go for the alphabet, what do you think? Let's go alphabet. We'll go alphabet. We're going alphabet. Let's have a look at your options. We have got M, X, G, E, K, Q, A, H, D and P. And your first question is, what is the International Vehicle Registration Code for Germany? Start the money drain. Germany. It's G for Germany, is that three? OK, you are going for G. And you went for that because? I've been in Germany and I'm sure that's the first bit in their wee bit before the registration plate. Right, OK, well, let's have a look. I hope so. <laughs> Uh-uh, the money's Deutsch draining Bank, away. It's uh, number nine, number nine. Why did you go for D? That's quick. Deutschland. Is it the International Vehicle Registration Code for Germany? Is it a D? It is. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well, you've still got £900, so you're doing just fine. Let's have a look at your second question. Which of these has a face value of eight in a game of Scrabble? Start the money drain. We'll go for it. Quick, quick, quick. Money's going away. Right, you're saying oh, HD play a lot of Scrabble? Not very well. <laughs> you're too busy dancing. Yeah. You enjoy that too much. That's fine. Does H have a face value of eight in a game of Scrabble? It doesn't start the money drain. Guess again. Thank you. Was that a guess? No, it's one of the highest points I think you can get in Scrabble, and I'm thinking the more awkward the letter is to get a word, the higher the point is. Very logical. Could it be the letter Q? It's not. The money's draining away. And you've very quickly gone for X. Has X got a face value of eight in a game of Scrabble? Yes, it has. 
You're halfway there. You've still got £805. Here's your third question. What's the name of the Bond character played by Ben Wishaw? Start the money drain. OK, you've gone for H. I like H. You like H? <laughs> OK, that's fine. Let's have a look and see if Ben Wishaw plays H in the Bond movies. He does not. The money's draining away. Q. Is Ben Wishaw Q? He is. He is. Well done. You've just got one more to go. You've got £745. That's more than Alan and Guy, who've got 665 So if you get this one right quickly, you'll be safe. OK? okay. What is the 16th letter of the English alphabet? Start the money drain. P, P, zero, zero. You've gone for P. You're at £690. If that's right, you're safe. Is P the 16th letter of the English alphabet? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done, Chrissy and Debbie. You have banked £690 and you're safe. You can relax. Was that just a pure guess, or did you know that? No, but... Did, 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 oh, did like, you do that through your finger? <laughs> yes. <laughs> OK. Now, we've only got two teams left, and this is your last chance to get a choice of category. The target to beat, of course, is 665. You don't want to be the team that banks the least, so fingers back on buzzers, OK? Here we go. Which two haberdashery items feature in the common term for a tingling sensation in your limbs? Pins. Pins, yep. Needles. Or needles. Needles is right. Well done. <gasps> <laughs> Laura and Charlene, you are next up to play. OK. So, you guys, sisters. Yep. yep. Older, younger, you both look very the same age. There's not much between you. Unfortunately, I'm the older one. You look like a teenager. So I do the Morrison's. So tell me, Charlene, what do you do? Hey, I'm a student nurse. Good for you. It's a cracking job. Really hard. It's so rewarding. Yeah, really so, enjoy so it. rewarding. And Laura, you're from Glencoe. We've lived there all our lives. Now me, my partner, and our kids have a wee house in the village. Oh, how gorgeous! It's one of the most beautiful, beautiful parts of the world. Well, look, are you two ready? Yep. yep. Think you ready? so. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's play the cash machine. So a thousand pounds into your account, and the target to beat Alan and Guy with six hundred and sixty-five pounds. Okay. Shall we have a look at the categories you've got left? Mm -hmm. Now the solar system and the alphabet have gone. So it's African animals or musical instruments. Which one of those appeals? My daughter loves animals, but I wouldn't like to take one for the team and try and do that in a bar, so. <laughs> I think musical instruments. Oh, we'll give it a bash. Yeah, you yeah, give it a bash. So you've gone for musical instruments, OK? That's your category. <laughs> well, let's have a look at your options. We have a piano, violin, flute, banjo, Maracas, a didgeridoo, a bugle, oh, <laughs> xylophone, what kind of tambourine, and a harp. OK. You ready for your first question? Yep. Here we go. What is magic in the title of a Mozart opera? Start the money drain. Violin. So you think it's a magic violin? Confident about that or just a guess? Oh, maybe just a guess. I'm going to say piano. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't didn't know. even confer. Well, let's have a look and see if you've got off to a good start. Is it the magic violin? I think it's piano. No, it's not. The money's draining away. Have another guess. Oh, you were quick with that one. <laughs> you think it's a magic piano? Is it a magic piano? What else would it be? The heart, maybe. The heart. It's not. The heart. Keep going. Is it a magic harp? Oh, I don't know. Flute, oh, maybe. Flute, you've just flute. got one more go. You've got to get it right this time. Oh, you're no. going for a magic <laughs> flute. OK, if it's right, you go on to play the game. If it's wrong, of course, you're going to have to crash out. So we want oh. it to be a magic flute. I don't know. Yes! Oh, there you go! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. 
Right. Okay. We're there, we've got one Take number. Take time, Laura. Right. In 2018, which instrument belonging to Albert Einstein sold at auction for over half a million US dollars? Start the money drain. Einstein. Albert what Einstein. He? Uh, he invented the light bulb. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Thomas Edison. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that right? Why did we choose this? <laughs> Oh, about quick, choose something else, honey. Uh, something harp, 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 harp. Maybe a harp. Maybe harp, yeah. Okay. Did Albert Einstein enjoy or playing the harp? The harp? Oh. Let's have a look. This is awful. Oh. No, have another violin. go, quick. Violin, go. The violin. Can't see him playing the violin. No, I can't see him playing the violin either. No, you're not confident with this? Possibly. It's you probably don't up the air, but... OK, yeah. well, let's see if it's right. And you've still got seven hundred and seventy pounds oh, in your account. So you're doing just fine. You're doing just fine. So he, he enjoyed playing the violin, but he didn't invent the light bulb. Oh, well, that was Thomas Edison, wasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Here we go. It's question three. The name of which instrument comes from the Greek words for wood and sound? Start the money train. Yeah, possibly. You yeah. put xylophone yeah. in there fairly Sorry. quickly. No, that's fine. Yep. You think? Let's have a look and see if it's right. <laughs> it is. Still got £755 in the bank. You're doing good. You just need one more correct answer <laughs> to complete the pin. OK. Remember, you've got to beat £665. Oh, OK. Right. 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 I checked the number. You lost it. OK, <laughs> got it. The Italian architect who designed the Shard in London was Renzo who? Second name. Renzo Harp. Start the money maybe. Harp. Go for Harp. Right, you've gone for Harp. Do you know Mr Renzo? Or Not personally. <laughs> no. Okay. Was it Renzo Harp? Big bungo or band? Oh, it wasn't. Renzo or banjo. banjo, maybe? Banjo, you're thinking? Yeah, OK, yeah, well, let's see. If not, it's number seven. Go for number seven. <laughs> <laughs> seven, quick. No oh. Oh. If this one is wrong, if Mr Bugle isn't right, you do have one more guess, but only that, one, doesn't. and the money is draining away really quickly. Yeah. So, was it Renzo okay, Bugle? Seven. No, last chance. Go, go, go. Is that what I think? Around six hundred and ninety pounds, and if this is right, you would go through. Oh, I can't see it though, can you? <laughs> but the Italian architect who designed the Shard in London was Renzo Maracas. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> it was Renzo Piano. Oh, no way! I know. So I'm afraid, Laura and Charlene, your account now goes down to zero. Okay. So Timba and Jeremy, all you have to do is bank something, even a pound, and you're going <laughs> through to the next round. How are you feeling? Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you two are pals. Yes. Yeah. And you both met in Glasgow. Yes, we were kids uh, in the local church. Literally, we met there. And Jeremy, what do you do? I've just finished college. Yeah. Just finished. What were you doing? I was doing architectural technology. Fantastic. You know what, then? But you look like somebody that likes music. Yes, yeah, I am. Yeah. And, and I can see, I mean, is it something you're really passionate about? Yeah, actually, uh, I'm a rapper in Glasgow. I do, like, oh. shows, gigs and stuff like that. Videos on YouTube, SoundCloud, um, Spotify, stuff like that, yeah. I think yeah. the world is ready for a Glaswegian rapper, actually. Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely do. I really do. It's so good to have both of you here. And you're all ready? to play the cash machine. Now, look, there's no choice for you. The only category that's left is African animals, because solar system, musical instruments, the alphabet, gone. African animals, how do you feel about that? Mm, OK. We yeah? are from Africa, so <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> no pressure. <Yeah. laughs> no pressure on you. Well, OK, let's have a look, then, at your options for African animals. Here we go. We have porcupine, springbok, hippopotamus, a meerkat, an aardvark, a giraffe, a buffalo, a warthog, gorilla, and elephant. Here's your first question. What type of animal is Pumbaa in the Disney animation The Lion King? Start the money uh, drink. What is that? What is that? Pumbaa and Timon. Quick, guys, quick. I think Pumbaa yeah. the, the thingy warthog. You think Pumbaa is a warthog? If not. Is he? Yes. 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 
My favourite, we are, I love warthogs. They're so cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so you're off to a real good start. And you've still got, what? Well, ooh, £945 Oof. in your account. Fantastic. Right. Next question. Which animal inspired the nickname of the South African National Rugby Team? Start the money, Jane. Um, I have no rugby. idea. You have to guess. Um, I think it's the... Uh, I think it might be the... Gorilla. Yeah, gorilla. The gorilla. Why did you pick gorilla? Strong. Strong, yeah, rugby, strong. <laughs> okay, okay, no, that, that makes perfect sense. Was it a gorilla? Oh, it wasn't um, start the money drain, keep going. Okay, go, go. Oh. If not that buffer. Okay. Yeah. Hippopotamus is another wee guess. I guess, let's okay, go for it, okay. yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, no. no. Buffalo. A buffalo, right, big strong buffalo. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. This is your third guess. Nope, you could be crashing out. Um, Money's draining well, away, start again, quick, quick, quick. I think elephant, go, go, go. Yep. Go, look it. You think the elephant? <laughs> if this is wrong, you're going to crash to mm -hmm. zero. Zero. Because you've had your four goals and you'll be in a tie break with Laura and Charlene, of course. Right, OK. Did the elephant inspire the nickname of the South African national rugby team? Did it? The actual answer was Springboks. Oh, Springboks. Springboks. <laughs> it's not rugby fans. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> OK, we've got a tie break on our hands. Laura and Charlene and Temba and Jeremy. To unlock your account and get to round two, you've got to answer a security question. You buzz in with a correct answer and you're through to the next round. OK, fingers on buzzers. Here's your question. In Back to the Future, what make of car is Doc Brown's time travelling vehicle? A DeLorean. Yes, well done. Congratulations. Congratulations, both of you. That means you go through to the next round. But of course, it means we've got to say bye bye to Laura and Charlene, which is a real shame. You were such good contestants. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Yes, yeah, thank, thank you. Really That's time. the main thing. Thank you very much indeed for coming. of that round, Chrissy and Debbie, they banked £690. Alan and Guy, they had £665. And Temba and Jeremy, you were nearly out <laughs> in that game. You haven't banked any money, but you are still through to the next round. Time for a break now. When we come back, our three remaining teams will be hoping to add more money to their account. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists. What you're about to see is based on a true insurance claim. In this reconstruction, Margaret Mahoney is played by Gio Campario. It was just another normal day in Margaret's normal life, but a chance encounter would turn her world upside down. We never know what's around the corner, which is why Go Compare now gives £250 free excess cover for when the unexpected happens. Go Compare! Spice up your life with these sensational savings from SCS. You're gonna really, really want this sofa. Less than half price at 395. Save on this one. Incredible value at 495. This carpet's just 7.99 a square meter. Plus SCS will pay for your fitting. And there's guaranteed Christmas delivery. Plus four years free credit on everything. Spice up your life with this fabulous scatterback sofa. Just 299 right now at SCS. Canarial pods beat the mud. Just one pod? Enjoy the brilliant clean of Aerial 3 in 1 pods. Do you pod? Always pod safely and keep away from children. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists.
Welcome back to The Cash Machine. Now, Laura and Charlene, they were eliminated before the break, so now only three teams remain. We've got Alan and Guy, Temba and Jeremy, and Chrissy and Debbie. So, let's play round two. In this round, I'm actually going to put £2,000 in the bank, so every second is worth twice as much, but as the money goes up, the game gets tougher. You still need to find four pin numbers, but now you have to put them in the right order as well. Here's your first question. Fingers on buzzers. Here we go. Which married couple regularly presented this morning from 19... Debbie? Richard. And Chrissy? Judy. Richard and Judy is right. Well done. This round a little bit trickier because you need to enter the whole pin sequence correctly to stop the money drain. Enter the wrong pin four times and you bank nothing. OK. Sure. Let's play the cash machine. Let's have a look at the categories. We have Oscars, 2019, and books. Which one of those do you fancy? I don't think I'm very good at books. I don't think I'll be very good at books either. Yeah, Let's go for 2019. 2019. You're going to go for 2019? Yeah. OK. Well, let's have a look at your options. St Patrick's Day, the Edinburgh Festival Fringe, Bonfire Night, St Andrew's Day, the Grand National, Valentine's Day, Tripping the Colour, Burns Night, Father's Day, and Wimbledon. OK. Well, here is the question. Starting with the one that you think comes earliest in the calendar, enter in the correct order the first four of these events to take place in the UK in 2019. OK, so we've got... Is it St. Andrew's Money's Day draining? Or St. Andrew's Day in January, no? Yeah, St. Andrew's Day in January. Wait, wait, wait. Go for four, four, and then, then Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, no, Valentine's Day is in February. St. Then, Paddy's Day is in March. Money's draining and then away, what girls. The fringes? No. No, the fringe is August. OK. If it glows green, it's right. If it's red, it's wrong. If it turns amber, it's in the pin, but it's in the wrong place. So, is the first answer correct, St Andrew's Day? No, it's not. It's not, and it's not even in there. What about Valentine's Day? Yes, you've got that right. Well done. You've got one. OK. St Patrick's Day, does that follow Valentine's Day? You've got that one right too. That's a good start. That's a good start, Christine Debbie. Now, though, the Edinburgh Festival Fringe. What do we think? Is it in there? No, it's not. The money drain starts. Off you go. You've got two to find. You've gone for Burns Night and Father's Day. Feeling pretty confident about that? Better. Yeah, I think much yeah, better. Much better. Yeah, much better. Okay. <laughs> right, Burns Night. Is that correct? <laughs> it is. <laughs> wow. So, if Father's Day is correct, you're there. Let's have a look. Will that complete <laughs> the pin? OK, you've got another go. Quick, quick, quick. Your money's draining away. You think it's the Grand National. You've got £1,400 in your bank, if that's right. You keep a hold of that money. Let's have a look. <laughs> it is. Well done, girls. Well done. You have actually set the bar pretty high. You have banked £1,400. You've set the target to beat. I should tell you that Burns Night is on the 25th of January, Valentine's Day, of course, February the 14th, St Patrick's Day is March the 17th, and the Grand National April the 6th. It's now over to the rest of you. Let's see if you can bank more than Chrissy and Debbie on their £1,400. Fingers back on buzzers, here we go. In the traditional nursery rhyme, which two went up a hill to fetch the tale of... Guy. Jack. And Alan. Jill. Jack and Jill is right. Well done. Well done. <laughs> OK, you are in play. Shall we have a look at the categories that are left? 
OK, 2019 is away. You've got a choice between Oscars and books. What do you think? What do you think? Books. Do you watch films? I don't watch films and neither do you, so... You don't watch... I thought you would have watched loads of movies on the... On the rigs? Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> books? As we're going for books, has to be books. OK, books is... You're going for books? Mm -hmm. OK, let's have a look at your options. We have... The Wire in the Blood by Val McDermott, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Catch-22, Joseph Heller, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, Misery, Stephen King, Wuthering Heights, Emily Bronte, Ulysses by James Joyce, and White Teeth by Zadie Smith. Your question is, starting with the book that you think has the earliest publication date, enter in the correct order the first four of them to be published. Start the money drain, off you go. About Emily Bronte, sister. Scott Fitzgerald. Sam. And James Joyce. OK, that was very quick. You got £1,770 in there. You seemed very confident, both of you, particularly you, Guy. <laughs> well, you've read some of them. everything. Let's have a look and see. Was Pride and Prejudice published first? <laughs> yeah, it was. Well done. <laughs> OK, off to a great start. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Was that next? <laughs> Halfway there and looking good. The Great Gatsby. Was that the next one? Ooh. No, now it's know. there, but not in the right place. Is Ulysses there, though? You know what you have to do. Oh, there you go. Oh, nine, nine, four, four, nine, four, nine, four, then. So... Nine, four, blocking. OK. Let's see if that nine. has sorted it. Ulysses by James Joyce. <laughs> it is, it is. Let's just finish it off. The Great Gatsby, is that the final one? <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> Teamwork there. Good very teamwork. Good. Very well read gentleman. Well, I try to read rather than watch telly off show. Sure. I think that's, that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that rubbish? It's rubbish. Yeah, yeah. Pool all day. Yeah, yeah. In the bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we wish. Yeah. Well, you are safe and going through to the next round because you've got £1,630. Chrissy and Debbie, you're in the danger zone. You've got £1,400. You've got to hope that Temba and Jeremy don't get as much as that. OK. Temba and Jeremy, you have got to beat £1,400. You've only got one category left, and that's the Oscars. Do you watch a lot of films? Yes. You do? Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. So you might be feeling quite confident about this? <laughs> OK, let's have a look at your options. Kate Blanchett, Emma Stone, Rhys Witherspoon, Julia Roberts, Gwyneth Paltrow, Olivia Coleman, Emma Thompson, Natalie Portman, Cher and Jodie Foster. Here are 10 Best Actress winners. Starting with the one you think won most recently, enter in the correct order the last four of these actresses to win the award. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Yeah, going. Then... Need to be fast. Um, Julia Roberts, four. OK. Put in Reese with a spoon. Reese with a spoon. Oh. <sighs> put the wrong one there. <laughs> so quick, quick, quick. I'll put it in the top. And then log it in. OK, you have got... Emma Stone, Julia Roberts, Olivia Coleman and Emma Thompson, are they in the right order? The last four actresses to win that Oscar. So, first up, you've said Emma Stone. Is that right? <laughs> it's not right, guys, but it's gone amber, so it means it's in there. It's just not in the right place. OK, let's have a look at the next lady, Julia Roberts. <laughs> no, she's not there. Olivia Coleman, is she there? She is, but she's not in the right place. So you know that if you go below £1,400, you're out, so you're going to have to be super speedy. But let's see whether you've got Emma Thompson. 
No, that's not like the money drain. So two, six. six. Quick, quick, quick! No, just oh, for goodness sake, just weren't quick enough. Oh, bad luck because you crashed just below the number you needed to stay in the game. Let me tell you what it would have been. It was there. We are Olivia Coleman first, Whoa. then Emma Stone. Then Kate Blanchett and then Natalie Portman. Do you think you would have got there? Kate, oh, maybe not Kate. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I was familiar tough. with her. Yeah. It was tough, it really was. It's so sad we've got to say goodbye to you. You've been lovely. Uh, Thank you so much, I Temba did. and Jeremy. And Temba, good luck with the rapping career. Thank you. Good Hopefully we'll meet soon. Thank <laughs> you. So there we are at the end of that round, Alan and Guy. You have added £1,630 to your account. Chrissy and Debbie, you've added £1,400 to yours. <laughs> so join us after the break when these guys go head to head for the chance to get to our big money finale. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, Accident Claim Specialists. 2019, the year of confusion. Deals you don't want, free stuff you could do without. Don't let 2019 feed you things you don't need. Get 20 pounds free Texaco fuel with your car insurance. Don't be confused. Beconfused.com. We're doctors Chris and Zahn Van Tullik. All this week, inside the Daily Mail, you'll find pullouts that could help transform your health. Starting inside tomorrow's Scottish Daily Mail. Take off for New York with Expedia. You can book your flight, hotel, car hire, and activities all in one place. Everything you need to go. Expedia, at all protected. Captain Bird's eye loves the simple things, like his crunchy fish fingers, made with wild caught cod and golden breadcrumbs, crispier than ever. Bird's Eye. Real food, simply made. Pick up a promotional pack for your chance to win an Ocean Explorer plate. We could use an abstract dance routine to romance our coffee. Abstract. But we don't. What we do is use freshly ground Arabica beans and organic milk. McCafe. Great tasting coffee. Simple. Our school is collecting Team GB stickers with Aldi's kit for schools. When Mum and Dad spend £30 at Aldi, we get Team GB stickers for our school's poster. When it's full, Mika win £20,000 for our primary school. Come on, everyone! Get stuck in! Spark something. Luke is aid. Good boy. There you go. That's got to be our 10,000 steps, lady. Now it's our time for a tree. <laughs> yeah. Get autumn ready at Matalan. Here's a free way to win with the Scottish Children's Lottery £1,000 giveaway. Simply register online and use the code BELTER to play the Scottish Children's Lottery for free. Automatically entering you into the giveaway. No deposit required. Make sure you use your free play by 9.30pm on Wednesday as we'll pick the winner at 10pm. So what are you waiting for? For your chance to win £1,000, visit scottishchildrenslottery.com forward slash giveaway and enter now. How you about super mix? The jelly milk is super stretchy. I, I ate to make the milk one. It's smooth like a dolphin. Even though I've never touched a dolphin, this is as squishy as a fat pom pom. <laughs> yeah. 
The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists. Welcome back to The Cash Machine. Now, only two teams remain, Alan and Guy and Chrissy and Debbie. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah good. And best pals? Yeah. Yes. How long have you known each other? 20... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 20 plus. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. Alan and Guy, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Fantastic. We were talking earlier, weren't we, about how much you guys love to travel. Is yeah. there anywhere, Alan, you've not been that you would just love to go? Oh, North Korea. You would well, like to go to yeah, North Korea? Yeah, I'd love to go to North Korea. Do you know Korea. what? So would I. Should we go together? Yeah. I'll, that's because fantastic. nobody will yeah. go with that's me. That's a date, then. Let's go. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> well, look, let's move on to round three. Now, you've both banked a decent amount of money. I'm going to put, though, another £3,000 into the account. And for the first time, you're going to be going head to head. In this round, there's just one pin to find and our teams are playing against each other to try and crack it. Remember, though, as before, you're back on the buzzers for the chance to take on the cash machine. The team who enter the correct pin are going into the final and will get the chance to withdraw all of the money that they've banked, so there's everything to play for. Are you all ready? Yep. Yep. OK, let's play the cash machine. Fingers on buzzers, here we go. Here's your first question. The EU Parliament moves between which two European cities? Alan. Brussels. Guy. Strasbourg. Absolutely right. Well done. Well done. So you have got the first opportunity to crack the pin. Get it wrong, though, and you let Chrissy and Debbie in. You've got 20 seconds to enter the right pin, but as before, the money starts to drain away as soon as the question is revealed. Let's have a look at the category for this round. It is number one albums. Oh, dear guy, you're hanging your head there. Yeah. <laughs> Not happy with that? No. Well, you might be happier if we have a look at your options. Here we go. We have 25 by Adele, A Night at the Opera by Queen, The Fame by Lady Gaga, X and Y, Coldplay, The Man Who, Travis, Divide, Ed Sheeran, Graduation, Kanye West, Thank You, Next by Ariana Grande, Rumours by Fleetwood Mac and Prism, Katy Perry. There we are. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> <laughs> Straightful. Straightful, yeah. It's not well, easy, is it? Well, wait till you hear the question. Starting with the one that you think was number one most recently, the most recent, enter in the correct order the last four of these albums to top the UK chart. Start mm. the money drain. Yeah, it's you. It's one. Play the gang again. Home. Okay, that was done really fast. Travis, was it done with conviction? <laughs> no. Was it guesswork? <laughs> it was a bit of guesswork. If that is correct, then you're going through to the final. I asked you to enter in the correct order the last four albums to top the UK chart. You said Ed Sheeran was the first. Is that right? <laughs> it's in there somewhere, it's just not in the right place. Let's see if Adele is right. Again, she's there, but she's not in that position. Travis, the man who? No, they're not there at all. Let's see if Lady Gaga is in there, the fame by Lady Gaga. No, it's not there. Everybody back on buzzers. What are the names of the two eldest Kardashian sisters? Debbie. Uh, Courtney. And Chrissy. Kim. Kim. That's right. OK. Chrissy and Debbie, you're in play. You have to enter in the correct order the last four albums to top the UK chart. Start the money drain. Thank you. Yeah, go for it. OK, yeah. still got £2,780 in there. So, are you feeling pretty confident about this, girls? I think Ariana Grande is in there somewhere. OK, well, let's have a look at number one. Thank you, next, by Ariana Grande. <laughs> well done. Well done, indeed. Divide, by Ed Sheeran. Is that right? 
is. It is indeed. Prism by Katy Perry, is that right? Oh, it's not right, but it is in there. Let's see if 25 by Adele is in there too. Aha, OK, so you've got two in the right place and two that are up there, but not in the right order. I think everybody knows what to do and you'll have to be super, <laughs> super quick on the buzzer. OK, here we go. Everybody's back in the game. It's all on this question. In cricket, which two teams compete for the Ashes? <laughs> Guy, right in there. Australia. And Alan? England. Yes. You didn't look as if you were very confident oh, about that. <laughs> Not a cricket man. No, I hate it. Not a cricket man. <laughs> OK, well, let's go back to the game. You're in play and get this right and you are through to the final. So, enter in the correct order the last four albums to top the UK chart. We know that Ariana Grande and Ed Sheeran is right. Start the money, Jane. You know what you have to do. OK. Is it 25 by Adele? Yes. And to take you through to the final, Prism by Katy Perry needs to be right. And it is. Well done. Congratulations. You have cracked the pin. There's £2,715 left in the bank. We will add that to the money that was already in your account, and that brings you to an impressive £5,010. <laughs> of course, that means we've got to say bye-bye to Chrissy and Debbie. You were such good contestants. Did you enjoy yourselves? I really sure did. Thank good. you. Good. I'm Thank really, you. really glad that you did. Thank you so, so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck, guys. Join us after the break when Alan and Guy will be playing for some serious money when they take on the cash machine for the final time. See you in a couple of minutes. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists. This is blue and this is blue and this they're blue those are blue he's blue not that bit blue 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 no they're not blue that's blue say hello to our juicy new drinks innocent on the bright side Our used cars are quality checked, supplied by selected dealers, and come with a warranty. So finding a car you'll love is easy. You just need to find somewhere to park it. Find your perfect used car at Haycar. The King of Burgers delivered. Get Burger King on the delivery app now. a nice boyfriend and sort out those glasses yours with love older self 
If you could see what life's like after it, you'd have done it years ago. Laser eye surgery from Optical Express from 595 per eye. Book your free consultation at opticalexpress.co.uk. Likelier Shampoo, proven to kill up to 100% of head lice and eggs. The UK's number one selling head lice shampoo, trusted by parents and recommended by pharmacists. Ça, the Edinburgh Boiler Company specialises in boiler installations. We're a local company. We needed to appeal to a mass local audience. When the growth fund became available, we jumped at the chance. We needed a good return on investment, and it's been brilliant. Seeing the video live for the first time, it was a good sense of achievement. There's no other advertising platform that gives you the visual aspect as what STV does. And if you're looking for brand awareness, it's the one to go for. Get in touch today and grow your business with STV. Scottish Widows, taking on your future together. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists. Welcome back to The Cash Machine, where Alan and Guy have made it all the way through to the final round. They've got the chance to take home all of the money in their account. And that current balance is standing at £5,010. So, how are you feeling about this final and what would you spend the money on? Well, I'm feeling fantastic, Lorraine. <laughs> and I thought we'd already agreed that we were going to go to North Korea, so I'll put it towards That's that. Oh, you cheat. <laughs> oh. So you he can said, come as well. You can come as well. No, so I'm going to have a bit of integrity here because we said we were going to give it to charity if we won, and he's just said they're not going to. That's lovely. You're going to give it to charity? I'll give it to Seriously, charity, have you got yeah. a charity in mind? Yes, a charity in Aberdeen called um, Charlie's House. Uh, it's from northeast of, uh, and it's for uh, you know kids that um, babies or young people have got disabilities. What an amazing thing to do! So I really wish you all the very best, and let's find out how you can win all of that cash. Right, in a moment, you will face that final pin. What's going to happen is you'll take it in turns to answer a series of questions and every answer is a number. The correct answers will reveal each number in the pin. You get them right first time and your balance stays intact. You don't lose any money. But if you get it wrong, we have to start the money drain and the money starts to drain away. The only way to stop your cash disappearing is to get a question right. So if you want to win, you know what you have to do. You have to crack the pin. Right, have you had a little chat beforehand? Who's actually going to go first? It's going to be Alan. I'm going to go first. OK, good luck. Alan, your first question. The Queen's Golden Jubilee took place in 2000 and what? 15. Start the money drain. In rugby, what number shirt does the hooker normally wear? Eight. How many elements in the periodic table begin with the letter Z? One. 120 seconds is equal to how many minutes? Two. OK, Guy, you ready? Mm -hmm. We've still got £3,900, that's good. How many Olympic gold medals did the British rower Steve Redgrave win? Won five. Well done. OK, Alan, this one is for you. What is the nickname of the character played by Kilo Thomas in the 2003 film Holes? Nine. Start the money drain. At the 2003 Eurovision Song Contest, how many points did Gemini score for the UK? One. 32 degrees Fahrenheit equals how many degrees Celsius? Zero. Yes. Well done. We're nearly there. You're doing really well, guys. £3,195 you've got in the bank. That's a big lot of money. Just one more to get to crack this pin. Guy, this is for you. Alex Pettifer stars in the 2011 film I Am Number What? 
one. Start the money drain. How many prime numbers are there between 10 and 20? Four. Yeah. I saw you hesitating oh, to oh, sure. You weren't sure, you weren't sure. But that is amazing. You have <laughs> won £2,740. Well done, guys. Oh, that was pretty scary. Oh, was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> relief, relief, relief. But amazing for your charity, for Charlie's House for in, Charlie's in House. Aberdeen. And remind me again what they do. So it's uh, for babies, um, young children, young people, and they've got severe disabilities. Right, and it's something that's very close to your heart, I yeah, know. Yeah, indeed. Oh, terrific. That's really good. Well, they'll be absolutely delighted, won't they? they so, have you enjoyed it? Loved it. <laughs> it's what a great time. It's been good time. fun. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm really, really glad. You've been fantastic contestants. You really have. It. All we have to do now, Alan and Guy, is say step up to the cash machine and withdraw your money. Off you go. Excellent. I'll see you next time and four more teams will be taking on the cash machine. And remember, if you want to win, you've got to crack the pin. See you soon. Next, and you don't have to ask the audience because Jeremy is back and asking who wants to be a millionaire? and sit back and enjoy the full series of Sean Scotland on the STV Player. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, Accident Claims Specialists.